Scott, uh, uh, exciting to talk to you. Thank you for taking your time to talk about fault. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love that tension, forgiveness. A lot of different messages obviously when we we're we, 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 we sending with this movie. Congratulations. I know people are gonna love it. I, I have I have a lot of followers that are already asking about it. So I know other people are gonna I wanna love it. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we got a lot to dive in. And 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 I and again I think the, the first thing is tension, and tension is important for yeah. this story. And I and I I have I have two questions that I that are mostly about how challenging it will be to what's to create the story. Yep. in the technical part and in this in this in the script part but i want to start with the script um yep. what what was more challenging for you to be to maintain that to create that tension and maintain that tension through the whole through the whole story yeah i think I, well i think going into it, it was very much like we wanted to create a, a kind of theme park ride experience it's been very kind of theatrical that you, that really immerses you into it and i think that we were uh, very conscious that height i i i've we've seen kind of sequences of things in films that play with height and play with height tensions, but, but not over a course of a film. So by design, it was like looking at what different kind of flavors and what different elements and, and really like long running nail biting tension mm -hmm. as a kind of it, it's to pull, you know, to pull it off. It's kind of, it starts with a script of course. And, and I think we were very conscious that we didn't want to just kind of cattle prod the audience with kind of horror jerks when we had the uh, where we really hype just by design it gives you this great tension or, uh, that you can really pull out and uh, and I think it's kind of playing with the audience that way so it came right from the start and and uh, and um and just really looking at ourselves of like what what is it the tension of heights what is the fear of falling why do we feel this way and obviously it's built into us as human beings to to protect ourselves right because because we know kind of stepping off that edge it's it's quick death right so it's that fear and really kind of pulling and drawing out that fear that we that we try to play into and 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 just and just like I said giving different flavors to it and and the challenge of having something so contained that doesn't get boring is also a challenge to writing piece and and I think for me again it comes back to this theme park idea that you kind of like you want to go on different parts of the ride and you've always got to even if you've got a long drawn out kind of conceptual tension you want to you want to kind of break it down and have moments of of up down hopes and you know fears and 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 whatnot. The other two factors that work on the story are you just started yourself letting go of your fears and then forgiveness. What, yeah, you know, dealing yeah, with yeah. forgiveness and learning the truth and understanding how to deal with the truth. Yeah. And, and I I think if you I mean the writer uh, the writer Jonathan and yourself you did great with the, with the script and then balancing yeah. everything out was Thank those two factors your idea or Jonathan's which who who brought that into the script I think uh, to be honest it was a bit it was I I I I would say like most things that it's born when we're both you know from usually like from us both but I, it is from a personal experience of my own actually um, about the exploration of someone like I had someone. Uh, just just experiencing kind of someone dying and what that leaves and kind of climbing out of that hole and psychological nature, uh, the psychological story of kind of really being pulled down and having to climb back up and find yourself again. Um, that that came from kind of a personal place of, of mind, really, and, and 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 tapping into that and telling that story felt quite fitting for a survival story, and it and and so um, so yeah, so it kind of it, it it's it, it that that bit it's special in a way and i and i kind of think that that the for me like uh, the, the 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 kind of the films that i i love and i remember most are when you wrap something which is important and personal and and actually is a human story that you want to share in something even if it's a candy wrapper of genre goodness it's kind of it's the way to kind of feed the medicine out in a way so we can enjoy a story but hopefully get something deeper from it and and that was the hope really so uh, yeah, so it was very careful and, and very honest and intimate, really, in terms of working with the actors on something that was so um, that was so very real at the core of everything else, you know. The other part that stood out to me, obviously, is the the cinematography and I mean the photography. Mm. That, and I and I and I and I and I, and I gotta be very careful how I you know, phrase this question yep. because I don't want to give out, you know, and I want to you know, I don't want to ruin the surprise or the, yep. ruin the magic. Yeah, yeah, I sure. don't. And because you, you guys did so great, we don't even know how much is visual effects and how much is well. Well, if it effects. helps, if it helps with your magic, like I think the reason the film works is because ultimately this film is a bit going back to kind of like old school filmmaking, where we got a tiny team and some IMAX 
life size cameras and went up a mountain and filmed it on a tower for real at that height. So the, I think the reason why it works is because we captured the reality. And then there's, there is obviously elements where kind of things end up looking straight down and you comp in the desert that we filmed at the 2000 feet. But, uh, you know, it, we, we built these towers with the guys who built the tower. We, it was, you know what I mean? We, we kept, we kept it all real. And, and, and I think that that comes out because what, what happens is when the actors are performing at, at 2000 feet, like it's all the other elements. It's like the wind and, and the sun mm -hmm. and, and just the way they act reflects on how the camera, the operators, the people around them react. And I think there's an honesty of what's captured that, that is very grounded. And, and you need that, I think, for, for, for really good kind of horror intention. So, so it, 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 as a kind of byproduct of style, in a sense, just, just by the world throwing so much at you at that height is, is why we got a lot of what we got. I mean, it worked. I mean, at least in my opinion, I couldn't tell a difference between what was visually and what was practical. Oh, that's good. I, I, could, I have to say, as the director, I'm always telling the bits that don't quite, but it's like, yeah. A... I, I mean, I had to mention, and I have to add about it because it, everything felt real. And, yeah. and, and now I want to talk about the girls, obviously yeah. put them, put the, putting them in that situation. <laughs> and, and they're such great actors, obviously. But yeah. um, where, where they, 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 had, they had a clue what they were getting into. What was their first reaction? I, I think, yeah. They, I, I, so put I, them in the situation. I, I, I tried to filter out the funnel of actors. So I, 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 you know, I had the pleasure in this one where I was able to actually cast, you know, and it's because of the producers, hats off to James Harris, Christian Mercury, Dirt Herring for, for, allow, for, for encouraging even, cast the right people. Let's do this film kind of the old way. Let's not be daft and cast the wrong people. But I, I went through like an audition process, which was during COVID. Uh, uh, so it was through Zoom. Um, uh, and, and what I was aware of is most actors like will, will try and get a part. So they'll say they are okay with heights, even if they're not. And I was very aware that in this movie, if you're not afraid, if you if you are scared of doing this, we are screwed because we're up there for weeks. So, um, so I basically um, showed them the drawings of what was being built. So I showed them the cliff mountain, right? With this huge drop off with this hundred foot tower that we were building. And I'm like, you're gonna be on this piece right at the top. And I, and I kind of showed them over Zoom like this. And, and, um, uh, and explain how production was going to work. And I could see like the ones that kind of gave it away in their eyes, the ones that were pretending it was okay were the ones where I, I didn't, you know, ask them to return. And, and I think I felt it through that process, but, but I have to say Ginny and Grace, maybe they exaggerated, but I felt like they were being honest with me. They were like, this looks horrible, <laughs> but I think I'll be okay. That was the kind of answer that, that, that kind of led me towards them because yeah, they, they're, and I have to say they, they, the range needed and the precision needed to play the range, given that where, you know, how it unfolds is yeah. huge. And, and they, they just, you know, we went through scenes, we did chemistry tests and, and they just shone. And, and I, you know, I can't like that. This film is, is there are three stars, arguably right. The tower and the Ginny and Grace and, and, uh, you know what I mean? And, and they just absolutely uh, nailed it. So yeah, I love them. I want to come back to the script a little bit, but, but mostly because yeah. of Virginia and I felt that her character but us brought a little bit of comedic touch, obviously, to this tense situation. Yeah. But in, 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 there any, in there any moment of the shooting, did you brought something to the table? Did she told you, Scott? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, she, she's like, like as a human being, uh, uh, Ginny is, 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 you know, funny, kind. She's, she's like, they, they both, actually, they both exude these real elements uh, uh, that, that their characters were. And I think when they read for them, uh, they just kind of came out as them and he came alive. And I think that as a script working in progress, I like that the people that contributed most, I would say, to, to telling a story, you know, two female leads to a story. I would say one is my wife who kind of slapped Jono and I around the head a bit when, the, when we handed over the first draft um, and kind of, and, and really helped kind of like filter out kind of the wide stuff. But then working through the script with, Ginny and Grace um, and, and working through it and blocking through it and rehearse, rehearsing the film, they, they injected their own element. And, and, uh, and I think there is always an element of kind of gallows humor, right? That, that in a situation like this, the kind of the relief from that and offering up that relief is, 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 is truthful, you know? And again, Becky, obviously Grace, um, yeah. mental health also plays a huge role on, yeah. I mean, this story has so many things going on. I mean, it's just incredible. But I, 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 I feel that Becky specifically, a lot of people don't relate to her because of many reasons. Because, mm -hmm. I, like I said in the beginning, dealing with fear, you know, letting go of your fears, yeah. letting go of your past, forgiveness, yeah. and then coming back to a situation 
that you don't want to go back to it because it, it, it's, yeah. it, it's, tra it's traumatizing, traumatizing. Yeah. Did you bring something to that table from that role? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Like, like Chris, yeah, absolutely. I, I think Chris, Chris is, um, you got two very different types of acts, actually. You've got Ginny, uh, yeah, um, um, very disciplined and right, and and but but Grace is quite method, and and I would say that uh, Grace really taps and, and exploring the story with her and and kind of the the you know especially the 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 kind of the deeper elements I would say, um, it, you know she pulled into various personal experiences that kind of drove drove that and and allowed her to kind of I guess access that and and I and I was like. I can't tell you what a pleasure it was working with them, but but like I would with Grace, she would always need, you know, she'd need a minute to get herself in the frame of mind, right? So before we're doing very heavy work in those conditions, it's like it was trying to get the environment right to give her the time to get there because she taps that and plays it out. And and yeah, she's so wonderful. I, I can't can't compliment her enough. I think I got time with one last question. And this yeah. one has to be fun because I laughed when when that visit when this line came in, mostly because I'm a WWE fan. And I wasn't expecting that to be part of the conversation. Who brought that to the script? Who? Okay, hats off, hats off go to Jonathan Frank, right? Who is absolutely, we'll try and get that in every movie that we do. It's, uh, yeah, no, and that's based on him, him as a kid. Uh, like like her her backstory of like doing wrestling with with a dad, that's actually Jono's backstory. And um, and I think it's really, you know, it, it is sweet. And it's, again, it's nice to have these personal things in the movie, right? They're a part of you and we kind of play it out. And and so, yeah, so so that's all Jono who, uh, yeah, who actually, it's a shame we won't do this interview tomorrow because he's going to be around tomorrow as well. Like, you could have said, oh, yeah, me. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely him. Thank you, Scott, honestly, for your time and, and such an amazing oh, movie. You. I'm so glad that I'm, I'm so glad that no people are going to love it. And, and, and thank, thank you. you for your opportunity. And thank well, you, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks so much.